Okay, happy Thursday. We are going on a tier speed run. I don't think I've ever seen that done. We're going to go really fast. Before we do that, i got to kind of prepare for it in a couple ways. Number one, if you are interested in winning one of the sets that's going to be on this list, this is all expensive stuff. I This is for Patreons only usually, but for this occasion, because it's a, a tier list video, sometimes sprinkle a little something something for you. Um, so go ahead and if you're a subscriber, comment below this video. Give it a thumbs up if you genuinely like it, and that'll qualify you to get one of the sets that is mentioned inside this video right here. And it will be brand new and in the box because I actually have it in my possession right now. Let's go over the tiers. The best. Um, top tier. Very good. People like. Legit confused. Violation. Those are the ones. Now let's go ahead and talk about what's important before we get into the speed run. These opinions are based on my preferences, which you can't possibly know because you don't have my ears, my brains, etc., etc. But you can see my library, and you can see ACDC, and you can see Aerosmith, um, and you can see Tribe Called Quest, and you can see 50 Cent, um, and you can see Tupac Shakur. Let me just keep going. You can see Bob Marley. See Boston, um, you can see Nirvana. You got Creedence Clearwater Revival right there. This is important for you to see because this is literally the context. We got Earth, Wind, and Fire right there next to Easy E. We've got Gordon Lightfoot. Um, we got Jay Z. We got The Grateful Dead. We've got Led Zeppelin. We've got MOP. Nas. Rolling Stones, all of Pink Floyd's library. Uh, Scarface, with him, by himself and with the Ghetto Boys. Um, the Doobie Brothers. My library reflects really my mother's, a classic right there, The Police, Ghost in the Machine. My library really reflects my mother's taste because I listened to her music as I grew up. And um, it, music is memories to me. Instead of photographs, music is puts up videos in my head but that's we're getting into the spectrum right there so let me go ahead and close this down I'm going to put this back up and I'm going to hit some keys here and this is going to allow me to record this screen and then I can overlap this when we do it so let me go ahead and do this right here and I believe we are recording right now and let me go ahead and scroll this down a little bit and here we go Let's just pick this in. Again, this is the speed starts now. The speed starts now. Let's go with the first one right here. This is the Unique Melody Fusang. This is a set that I would say, again, I'm going, um, I wouldn't even say, I'd say legit confused. I, I'm not sure about that set. Next one would be the Indigo by Unique Melody. I'm going as they are appearing right here. This is a set that I actually think is very good it was top tier about a year ago i think it's quite good the unique melody stuff isn't going to affect my um opinions the noble spartacus is a set that i really like right now i'm going to put it in the very good section because um consider that that's new recent there's some bias there but i really love that set it's easily the best noble that i've heard next set is going to be the bird which is the trialee let me scroll this back down I say that's top tier. Nothing's changed. That set is absolutely epic. Next one is going to be the Fat Frequency Grand Maestro, and this is a set that I would also say is top tier. Next one is going to be the Camper. I'm going to put that um, as the best. Currently, as it sits right now, that's the best set that I own. It's actually on another level, so I'm glad to put it in a tier because it is getting to exist on another level. There's nothing that touches this um that i own or that i've ever heard this is the rn6 by fear and i would put this in top tier as well the early ones are going to lean top tier because they were the first ones that i added to this next is going to be Crinicles collab i'm going to put this in top tier and it's got this is there's no simping here this is sonian's um this is a brilliant set for some reason i and i can't quite get what it is it looks beautiful it sounds great it doesn't get the love. Um, I really should do something about that. Next is going to be the only AMT that I have in my possession. I'm going to say this is very good. I'd recommend that you get it. Next is going to be the Thea Audio Monarch 3. And I would say that that is also a very good set. Next is going to be the Subtonic Storm. And I would say that that is a top tier set. Next would be the Unique Melody Multiverse or Mentor Multiverse. I, I don't recall what it is, but I would consider this a top tier set. Next would be the Let's Shore Cadenza. Wasn't a fan 
as it first came out, but I will put this at, uh, it is very good. I, I just don't listen to the, that part of my library. This is the Volor by 64 Audio, and this would be my favorite of theirs. I'm going to do a video showing how much difficulty it is for people to catch where that spike is. I think it's got the only isobaric set in the hobby that's actually technically isobaric and otherwise um, is an excellent set. Next is going to be Moondrop's most expensive set, which is... Um, people like... I, I'm, this is not I'm not confused about it it's not a lot of people have it um I might change the name of this actually mm. see when you do stuff quickly you don't consider the long-term repercussions uh this is the seventh acoustic and I would say this is a very good set next is going to be the moon drop variations which is one of the more affordable ones in this and I'm gonna put this in legit confused because of as I explained in the previous video bass tucks just kind of baffle me um uh, push for right now that's i'm going to slow the video down this is the odin i'm legit confused about this set because it's got an enormous ear gain region and it really dominates the replay and it's um yeah legit confused like the fusang and like the variations the odin legit confuses me as to why people actually like it um, the Loki, people seem to like it. I'm not, I think it's way too energetic, but people like it. Unique Melody Amber Pearl is a top tier set. That's not, <laughs> don't ask me. Um, it's a top tier set. This is the Mest MK3. Remember, these are sets that I've owned. Um, and I would put this in a, it's a very good set. I think I like the two. People like this set. I'm gonna go with that. Next is going to be the Rhapsidio. Um, I'm legit confused by this set. It looks absolutely stunning. The idea and the theory um, makes sense to me. The, the wines with the copper coil, but it just doesn't play out in the replay to me. Next would be the Elysian Annihilator, the one that I had. Um, I'm gonna put this under legit confused and remember this is the 2021 version because the newer one seems to be a little bit different This is a giant V or it's a very substantial V and it's a lot of money and it's not using anything Exceptionally special or rare. Um, so I really don't understand why it's so high on a lot of people list mm, So confused next one would be the QDC V14. This is a very good set. I like it a lot it, in, in two of its profiles, it's it's exceptional. The QDC Anole, um, I'm going to put is very good as well. I, I enjoy the set. It is, I'm going to grab, where is the U12T? Did I not grab that and put that in here? That is, damn, I actually did that. Um, oh, this is it right here. I'm going to put this with legit confused. The U12T is something, I think that's the U12T. A lot of people love it. It's higher in their list. It, to me, it's not. It's a, it's a jack of all trades and a master of none. It doesn't really slam, and it's not really great at bass. Its mids are pretty good. It's warm and kind of a slight fuzz to it. Um, it's it's engaging, but it's not too much in any kind of a way. It doesn't shout at you. It doesn't slam. It's it's um it's a good all-arounder I wouldn't even consider it something that you would mix with or produce with because it's just a little too warm um, so I, I'm legit confused why people like that so much but it's I guess library next would be the Empire Years Legend X I bought it five times and people like it I bought it five times um, I gotta put that there next one would be the Kubla Khan um, I actually really like this set um, the set that I got measured different from other people's and the replay on it and yeah, I like that set next one would be the aroma audio and I'm gonna put this under legit confused instead of people like because this was the set that people said I'm getting it because I think it's better than the Trieli the bird I I so I bought it because I was one of them and I don't care which one is more suitable for my library I, I, I don't care I think they both look kind of ghetto with the jewel looking more ghetto and that when I got it and listened to it and then got over the initial like this is disappointing got over a couple weeks 
um, I ended up selling it because I was really terribly disappointed. So I'm one of the people that bought into the jewel hype, and then I still have the bird, and I no longer have the jewel. So keep that in your mental library. This is called the. Uh, this is the same company. This is the Fei Wan. I'm going to put this in legit confused too because I bought this. It's using the Chai Fi version of Isobaric, which is not true Isobaric, and it also had a balanced armature sound to it because I can hear it, which I don't want to hear on a hybrid at this price. The looks were not my thing, but in the hand it looks more beautiful than the pictures. The sound just, I, I'm totally baffled. Um, the XE6, I believe that's the name of it, by Fear Audio. If I, I don't want to pay $3,000 for a base headset, so I'm going to put that in Legit Confused too. I don't, I don't understand that. You can get something kind of like that for a lot less money. The next one's going to be the Campfire Audio Trifecta. Um, legit Confused. I, 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 I don't understand. It's a great idea. I love bass. Um, three dynamic drivers. It makes tons of sense. Heard it. Owned it very briefly. Yeah, no. Um, the Twilight is a actually... Very, remember, there are 50 on this list. I don't think we're going to be able to fit them all. I would say that that's a very good set. Um, I'm going to go and skip down to here, the Sony IER Z1R. People like it. I think it has been... I should put it in very good. No, I won't. It's my list. Um, people like it. I liked it at one time. I think a lot of sets have passed by. The Bravery by C Audio. This is a legit confusing set because oh, this is the Kaguya. I'm sorry. Um, oh, this is the Bravery. I'm going to put this into legit confusing. There were some people at the time when this came out that said this was like an amazing thing. When I listened to it, it sounded like grain. And like the Aria, Aria, whatever that budget set for Moondrop is called back in 2020, 2021, it sounded like that kind of. It just had a constant grain that was present. And at its price, which was like $1,000 at the time, it absolutely blew my mind that it was being recommended by people. I, I, I'm not going to start using names of like this is garbage or something like that but i i holy crap um japanese brand accustune i think it's called um violation first violation on this list all of that work all of that mm, cut you can pull out modules and do all this stuff and yet none of the modules that you can switch in or out are really exceptional even if you don't believe in typical tuning harmonish or versions of that there should be at least one that's really kind of nailing that to give those people um, an idea of what your technology can do, the replaceable modules, it's all brilliant. Pull them in with one that's similar and is going to get them and then try to get them to listen to the other modules via um, experimentation and going outside of your comfort zone. Mm, Japan is not different from America or any other country. There's some of my collaborations have been quite popular, whether people think Japanese like bass or treble or whatever. They like music. So I think that the way they've gone about this as a company is a violation. So you, you have been put on violation. The Astell and Kern, stunningly, um, is a very good set. I was not expecting that to be the case. The Fit Ear. I'll put it in people like. I have no idea where the love comes from this the the Gaia violation um that that set offends me after 10 minutes i'm sorry it offends me instantly it takes 10 minutes for me to take it out of my ears age related hearing loss is legit and it, ha it happens but I, it hasn't happened to me so absolutely no um the diva is a very good set i'm going to put it right there the twilight is a Oh, I'm sorry, this is the Turi TI. I'm going to pass on that for just a second. This is the Dunu Luna. A lot of people hyped it when it came out. Um, legit confused. Sounded like it was screaming at me. I hate being screamed at. Um, next would be something that was kind of similar. Now it's the final audio. A8000? Yeah, no way. Um, people like the Sure. 
the f- vision years, um, people like it. I'm, I'm not one of them. The Phoenix is the same. People like it. I'm not one of them. The 64 Audio, the U18, it's a it's a very it's a very good set actually um for six bas extra and a hundred dollars per ba or something like that i i was that's when i first got into expensive sets and i thought this is absolutely ridiculous um the bonneville is a violation to me i looked at the graph um you're taking out all of the compensation area really for everything i i don't understand it confuses me but people like it um i'll leave it in violation now people like that i think some people voted on another side as it being one of the better sets so people like it confused that set confuses me um the raven I can't put it in violation because Jack Vang did everything he possibly could to rescue it without punishing buyers. Um, it doesn't confuse me because people like it. It's still out in the market. I'm going to leave this off the list. So Sorry for that. Um, the Kaguya, people like it. It's actually pretty good. I'm going to leave it right here. And I'm going to leave that. So you're getting 48, actually. The best would be the Camper. The top tier would be the Trialy. The Fat Frequency Maestro, Grand Maestro, the RN6, the Critical Collab. Get your ears on this. I have no idea. This is Linsoul's fault, by the way. Um, and there's a, there's some things that could be tied right back to sellers as why things don't get more love. But other things that are less impressive and cost more money get more love. That's all marketing. So I put that on them. Um, the Storm, people don't, 50 people in the world know about it, plus people that have heard of Can Jams. It's a legit beast. The Unique Melody. Um, multiverse is it's a beast it's an absolute beast and the amber pearl is an improvement on that so those are the best the top tier very good people like legit confused violation um, and we'll leave it at that and I'll go ahead and shut this down and don't forget to comment below this video to qualify there are people bidding right now on my patreon for some of the expensive sets and some of them have been successfully bid on up to right now which is the 8th of february one of the sets that's on this screen right here is going to wrapped in plastic go to somebody the comments spread the love a little bit these guys are getting their stuff um maybe once a month I'll, I'll trickle down and sprinkle the goodies on just everybody because i know through communication that there's some people that live in countries where they will never ever ever get a set like this they never will and for me it's easy um, because of life and things um, I'm blessed and you are blessed in ways that are different from me and I can kind of help you and then maybe someday I need something and you say hey I'm really good at editing or I can do this or you need some art for you know a new logo or things come back around it's good karma so comment below the video qualify give it a thumbs up if you generally like it and hopefully somebody who couldn't otherwise get it ends up getting it and that person turns out to be some kind of artist, does something nice for me, and then I can say, look how that worked out.